Hello everybody, so glad to see you here. As I promised last week, this week we do have a celebratory contest that's going to be happening because of me paying off my Reiki apprenticeship with the help of all of you. So for the celebration contest, we're going to have, uh, depending on how many people, up to nine prizes will be given away because I was asking you guys for help for nine months, <laughs> so I thought that would be a fair way to figure out how many prizes we should have. And because donations paid for 66% of the Reiki Apprenticeship Program, what I am going to do, this contest for the, the prize will be 66% off of any of my Reiki packages except for the introductory package. So there's 5-pack, 10-pack, 15-pack, all the way up to 50-pack. Um, so 66% off any of my Reiki packages, and you can find those on my website. Um, I don't have the sale price. Well, it's not even a sale. I don't have the contest price on that, so you would see what the price is for the packages normally, which those packages are discounted from regular price um, so like if you would normally buy a Reiki session from me, it would be $93. When you buy the package, you get some amount of discount off of that. The bigger the package, the bigger the discount. And then with the contest, contest winners will get 66% off whatever that dis already discounted package price is. So it's a really super good price that whoever wins this is going to win. Um, and I say that up to nine prizes will be given away because um, f my contests are kind of funny. Sometimes there are lots and lots of people that get into them when I have them, and sometimes there might be three people that join in on the contest. So um, if there's only three people, obviously everybody's a winner. If we have 99 people, then I'm going to have to um, draw names at random, and I'll just pick nine winners randomly uh, from the names. So how to enter the contest. This is a two-part entry. The first thing I want you to do is, because a lot of you did not even know what Reiki was, now granted a lot of you did, but a lot of you did not even know what Reiki was when I first started talking about it because I got a lot of questions. What is Reiki? What is this? What are you doing? Um, so I know that a lot of you have learned something about Reiki since I started asking for help. So the first question is, what can Reiki do for people who receive it? So whatever you learned, whatever you found out uh, during this process, or if you have to Google it, you know, wherever you get your information, that's up to you. This does not have to be a complete list of all the things that Reiki can do, but I would like to see kind of where you guys are. What do you guys know about Reiki? Um, you know, what do you think of as what Reiki can do for people who receive it? So that's the first part of the contest. And then the second part is I want you to tell me what would you like Reiki to do for you personally in your life or in your physical body? Either one. Um, if anybody sends me a contest entry and where, where they're answering what would you like Reiki to do in your life or your physical body and you tell me I would like Reiki to make my boyfriend be a better boyfriend or I would like Reiki to help my dad do such and such, that entry is going to be thrown out because that's not answering the question. The question is, what would you like Reiki to do in your life or your body? Yours, 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 only yours. I am pushing you to be selfish here, okay? <laughs> All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to send these emails to my email address, amista333 at yahoo.com by no later than Friday, May the 5th. So you've got some time. You've got as long as this is going to be covering. Is that right? I think that's right. Yep, so Friday, May the 5th is by the time that I expect this. That's right. So Friday, May the 5th, I expect you to have sent your email by no later than that day. So midnight Friday, Mountain Time in here in the U.S., 
will be the end of the contest. At that point, I will be um, going through and seeing how many entries we have. If we have more than nine, I'll have somebody who is not connected to the contest at all randomly draw a name out of a hat or a bucket or something like that until we have nine winners. And if, you know, if there's less than nine, then obviously all of you that enter will win. So let's see what else you need to know. So for announcement, I don't announce winners because um, some people are not too happy to have their names spread as far as letting other people know that they're into this type of stuff. Um, so I don't actually announce the winners. What I will be doing is I'll be contacting those of you who are winners and um, we will be scheduling a time to start working with you and get your Reiki package going. So once again, the prize is 66% off any of my Reiki packages packages except the introductory one and have fun with this. All right, on to your readings. Hello there Aquarius. Thank you so much for stopping by for your weekly tarot video forecast for the week of May 1st through the 7th. What you have coming up for Monday, Aquarius, is the Queen of Coins. This is somebody that you will be interacting with. For many of you, this is going to be someone who is actually a good friend. And this is somebody who um, is very secure in their material, um, their material assets, let's put it that way, in their material holdings in this lifetime. And I do feel like um, they're going to be wanting to share something nice with you on Monday. Alrighty, looking at Tuesday, Aquarius, Ten of Swords showing up in reverse. This card's come out for quite a few signs this time. Ten of Swords in reverse just means something that you thought was over and done with is not really over and done with. This could be an old disagreement, an old argument that you thought you had put to rest, and um, I feel like it is showing its head one last time. Okay, looking at Wednesday, here we have the Seven of Swords showing up in reverse. Somebody is going to be apologizing to you or confessing to you about something that they did is what I'm feeling off of that card today for you guys. Thursday, Knight of Coins. You guys are going to be being very responsible with your budget. So you're going to be doing whatever it takes to bring the money in. You're also going to be making sure that you're... Um, careful about your spending. No impulse spending is shown up with the Knight of Coins. On Friday, Eight of Cups. This is you moving on from something and looking for the next thing and hoping the next thing is better. Usually with an Eight of Cups, whatever it is that you're moving on from, you've realized that um, there's not a two-way flow of energy that you're giving into the situation more than you're getting back. And so you're moving on to find something that will be more two-way. For a lot of you, this has to do with work somehow. <laughs> and if I was doing a specific reading, I would be able to tell you more about this somehow. But since it's a general reading, all I can tell you is somehow. You guys know how to get a private reading, so I'm not going to go into all of that. La -da -da -da. Okay, so Saturday we do have the Sun card showing up. This is actually a really great card. It just means that you're spending at least some time Saturday actually doing exactly what you want, exactly the way you want it, with nobody breathing down your neck about it. All right, and if I said that was Sunday when we got the Sun card, that was actually Saturday for the Sun card. And Sunday we have the World card showing up in reverse. The world card in reverse. I do think there's something that you're wanting to manifest or to bring into your life. And I also feel like with the world card in reverse, you're close, but no cigar yet. Yet being the operative word. Okay. So there you go, Aquarius. That is your week. Thank you so much, everybody, for stopping by, for hanging out, for liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting. I do appreciate all of your support. I hope to see some of you here this week for readings, some of you here this week for Reiki sessions, and I will see the rest of you on the next video. Peace out.